Hey there! Want to get your amazing 360 images into Blender 2.8? VR cameras use two 180 degree lenses to capture images on both sides, thus making it 360 degrees. These images have to be combined into one flat image though that will eventually become an equirectangular image. Similar to those flat projections of the world you see, equirectangular images lay out a cylindrical image so that it can be recombined later to represent a sphere. So I have two equirectangular images here in this folder that are ready for use. One is from my VR camera and one is from a website. So say you don't have a VR camera, there are websites that offer free files for you to use as backdrops. You could use these in Blender, Unity, Unreal, well you name it. One I have here is from the website known as hdrihaven.com. Be sure and check them out for some really cool and high quality images. These HDRI or High Dynamic Range Imaging Picks that use a higher dynamic range of color and values than traditional imaging formats are really cool to use for Blender. So they should look really good with this. So with my two images I'm ready to go. Let's change some environments. When you load Blender 2.8 you will see we are going to change our environment. You will find this is not too hard to do. You know you can use EV or Cycles in Blender 2.8. EV provides real-time 3D viewport rendering, but Cycles still provides a lot of rendering power in terms of quality for a final render. Our basic cube is here, so let's remove that by selecting it and pressing X to delete it. And let's add a UV sphere using Shift A to select and choose our sphere. Now our sphere is not quite smooth, so let's right click and choose to smooth shade. Now we want the sphere to reflect light so we can see the effect. So let's select the sphere. Uh, let's go over to the properties area over on the right. We're going to choose the materials and create a new material for the sphere and let's just call it mirror ball. Now let's drag down a new window so we can use our node for the object and change the editor type to shader. So now we have a shader editor and we have the 3D viewport down below. If you have used Blender 2.79, you'll recall there was a default diffuse node attached to the material. But in 2.8, we have a default node with lots of options that's really cool. So be sure and check those out. Let's make this ball reflective by raising the metallic levels all the way here and bringing down the specular and roughness to zero. Okay, now for the fun part. First, let's go to our viewport window below and choose to show the rendered views by pressing Z with the cursor in the window and selecting rendered. We want to add our equirectangular images to the environment, so let's go to our world settings in the properties editor and choose to use nodes. You see we're using our background and we have a dark gray color. We can click the color option here and then choose the color for our background and you can see the change. But we want to see this 360 image, don't you? So let's choose environment textures to the right and then select our VR image by clicking the folder and finding our VR cam image. And voila! Not too bad. So say you don't have a VR cam image, but you do have a free HDRI file. Well, let's change that file to the free one I have from HDRI Haven. And there you go. So really simple. 
You can make a lot of changes, of course, to your object, to the reflectiveness, the mirror shape, and everything else that you want. But you can have fun with these settings, so just, just go for it. If you would like to know more about Mastering Blender, look for the link on the YouTube video description for a discount on a complete Mastering Blender course using the Properties Editor for 2.79 and 2.8. Hope this helps you create your own 360 world in Blender.